Hello, welcome to part two of our at-home workout series. Today's workout is a pull workout. So we're going to do back with a little bit of biceps. First thing we're gonna do is warm up. plank toe touch. So you're gonna start out in a plank form and you're gonna bring your right hand to your left toe. And vice versa. So the next exercise, we're going to use a towel to help us out. We're just rolling this up. The idea behind this is that you're actually going to pull it out to the side and keep that tension through the whole exercise. First exercise is a bent over row. Focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together as you're rolling it up into position. Okay, so the next exercise is going to, to simulate a wide grip pull down. The idea behind this is that you are pressing your hands back into the wall through the whole motion while bringing your arms down, squeezing your shoulder blades together a slow and controlled movement, really squeezing your shoulder blades and your back through the motion, especially at the bottom. Okay, the next exercise is very similar to that one, reverse snow angel. So we'll actually lie on our stomach basically make a uh, reverse snow angel, kind of going through that same motion, but using your arms, allowing your arms to go all the way down. You're really trying to press your sternum right into the floor as you're squeezing your lats through the motion. The next exercise, we'll grab our towel one more time. <clears throat> similar to the bent over row and very similar to the reverse snow angels. We're gonna pull outwards through the entire exercise while doing a, uh, basically again, a wide, a wide grip lat pull down. You're keeping the towel about two inches off the floor for the whole exercise. For biceps, I'm going to use a backpack that's got a handle on top. What I'm gonna do is just gonna load it up with a few books, kind of put them in so that they're relatively flat and sturdy, not too, bound up in there. 
First exercise, just simply curls. Naturally, the heavier the books are, the more resistance you're gonna have. If you don't wanna fill it up too heavy, just do the exercise a little bit slower and more focused. Kind of fight it on that negative. If you saw yesterday's video, we crafted up a couple of yolks. So I'm gonna try that out this time. So the debut of our yolk exercise in a curl. Still wanting to maintain a slow and controlled movement through the exercise. And I would imagine single arm as well, depending on the weight of your yoke. So today's back and bicep workout was actually pretty quick with the respect of doing the exercises. You will still want to get at least three sets of probably uh, 10 to 15 reps depending on how much um, resistance you're able to find throughout the house as well as um, a new exercise. Your body definitely adapts and reacts to it much differently than it does in the gym. So, so don't be afraid if you can't do quite as many reps as you think you can. Um, it is a qu quite a bit different style of workout. It's more of a plyometrics. I also wanted to show you an item that I found on Amazon. It was about 30 bucks and with Amazon Prime it came within a couple of days. Uh, it's actually this body ball did come with a base, which is kind of handy. But what I liked the most about it was that it also has these added resistance bands that you can use for different exercises. If you wanted to do curls or uh, bench press, that sort of thing, you can use that. I did find uh, this band is actually quite a bit longer. So when I'm going through the motions, there wasn't as much resistance. Uh, one way I was able to overcome that was to take this and just wrap it around a time or two before actually putting it on the ball to make it a little bit uh, to increase the resistance for the exercise. So I would encourage if you've got the means um, try and find something like this especially over the next couple of weeks where uh, the gyms are definitely not an option for us. Uh, we need to adapt and overcome as we do in pretty much everything that we're trained to do. So um, finding different ways to maintain our fitness and our wellness is something that is our responsibility to do. And if you can find something that's good for all of us, let's definitely share that with each other. Okay, that's it for today. Tomorrow we'll get together and do a leg workout, um, basically a lower body workout, and we might possibly even test this out during the workout. So again, that's it for today. We will be back tomorrow for part three of our at-home wellness series. Thanks everybody. We'll see you next time.